based on a true story about uh, a woman named Patty Montanari whose husband passes away and she has two kids and no money. So in order to put food on the table, she gets a job working for the Mafia. And they sort of give her a lot of responsibility uh, and she becomes pretty powerful. She winds up running million dollars across the border. Uh, and then it starts to have a negative effect on her kids and she decides she has to get out and it then becomes her quest to get out. I didn't actually meet her. I didn't want to, which may sound weird, but I felt like I had such a good grasp of who she was from reading the script, and I really wanted the audience to relate to why she chose to, you know, get involved with the mob. Um, but her son was one of the producers on the movie, and, and he was very supportive and said that I was, you know, doing a great job and, and nailing it, so I felt pretty confident that I was doing the right thing. I think it was a lot of things. I think the fact that um, the story is sort of a universal story, which is, you know, just a mother trying to do everything she can for her kids, um, was, I think that that's the crux of what the story is. The backdrop is the mob story, and I think that what was so interesting to me is that, you know, we're all fascinated by the mob, but I think that this was sort of a perspective that we've never seen before. Uh, and that's through a woman's eyes. And what that enabled us to do is sort of explore the family aspect um, and, you know, how that type of family is very loyal and promises to take care of people and what it really means to be accepted into that world. Um, well, I was born in Bensonhurst in Brooklyn, so uh, I was you know, in New York until I was probably 11, and then w even after I moved out to L.A., I still had to have the New York accent for Who's the Boss, so I'm very familiar with that accent. Um, and plus, I was raised by Italian New Yorkers, so, uh, you know, and I, I thought it was important to not only nail the accent, but also I think that New York Italian women have a sort of different street mentality and sensibility, and I really wanted to bring that to the character as well. I still slip into it every once in a while, but I have throughout my whole life. Usually when I'm upset, I'll sound like a guinea from New York. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm doing a recurring character on, on My Name is Earl, and my character's name is Billy, and she's kind of this wacky, quirky, free spirit. Um, and her and Earl have a, a sort of special connection. Um, I don't know if it's going to go into the love interest realm. I don't think that's been sort of uh, solidified yet. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> I bathe in formaldehyde.